Welcome to the video by DJSBRC. We're with Project Cherokee here. That's brought to you by Great Hobbies. www.greathobbies.com Check out the website. It's awesome. I finally decided to put a winch on Project Cherokee here. This is the one of the biggest winch they have. Uh, it's a single motor. They do have a dual motor. Uh, but I think this is the one with the most capacity uh, because it does have a gear. And I went with the wireless uh, winch controller. Now, in advance, I did uh, arrange my wire for the vehicle itself. And I'll show you this. Let's uh, open this guy. They give you a sheet of stickers and some screws, two different sizes and different length, basically when you want to mount it to your physical bumper here. And we have your winch. It's a tall one, definitely a tall one. And like I said, I... Uh, around and fix all my wiring I changed the connector to a better connector and the stock one that has a few do you plug in and plug a couple of times it it's not that great um, that's why I went with uh, XT30 and basically what I put over the tape of the wire should I say it's a tape it's called Tessa tape I will put a link in the description here and I think I do show one of my videos uh, about my Tessa tape, uh, if you want to go check that out. Uh, it's basically a car automotive uh, tape. If you ever saw any Volkswagen, Mercedes, uh, Audis, this is the kind of tape they put over their wire. And I like it. It is a pain to remove after, if you ever need to remove it. But it's great. Now with the controller here... We do have a remote and the controller itself. Now the controller, what I did, I did confirm all coded. That way if water goes in, I'm not going to be worried about it. And I did the same thing to these wires here. Uh, basically, they're Tessa tape. This is the main power wire. The only one place this guy will go here. There we go. They got, this guy goes here. Um, now the longer one goes to my winch. And this goes to my power. And from here I'm able to up and down the winch. Now, wiring wise in your vehicle, there's two ways you can wire these winches here. Uh, you can grab the remote with like I have here, or the one that plugs in your receiver. That way, if your remote, you control it up and down. I just wanted the remote separately. That way I can keep my uh, spare uh, auxiliary uh, switches on my remote to do something else, maybe in the future on this truck here. That's why I went with this guy here. But now, depending on your application, uh, even then, even if you have the same vehicle, you may not wire it the same as like what I did. Um, what I did here, I do have my main power. Then I have a cutoff that comes directly from my main power. Goes right here. Basically, the winch will plug right here. And my module will go right here. This is going to go like this. Now, this guy will go follow here. Yep, go to the front. I like to route my stuff around. If I need to extend the wire, I'll extend them. Uh, this guy here, I put a little bit shorter. This guy, I had to extend it. Again, I could have turned around and put the physical controller right here in front. Could have put it right here if I wanted to. 
and would have been long enough for the power but I that's not what I wanted to do now let's put this aside there's one thing I want to do I don't like this uh, kind of chrome aluminum plate my bumper is black first thing you'll see it's that plate what I want to try I do have a shrink tube here it's a the big shrink tube I'm going to try to shrink it and reinstall it on the vehicle after on the winch itself should I say hoping these uh, screws are long enough now these plates the way they're designed you can remove them and pop them opposite side if you want to to bring your winch in or your winch out this is what I mean if you follow the stock holes this sticks out to me it's it's something's wrong now what I want to do is put it in here I'm not even sure if this is gonna work grab my torch and see if it's gonna shrink enough just need to bring it in I'm not sure it might be too late there we go it is hot I think you guys get the point what I'll do here I'll finish this up and I'll be back and I'm back basically I reinstalled it on the winch itself I did not bother leaving this here this mark I don't care it's gonna be in the back there is one in the front here I don't mind either because it's hidden by the roller it's just the fact that when you look straight down you see black um, I could turn around if I wanted to do an extra step, an extra step, grab uh, liquid tape and liquid tape this and do the front one if I wanted to, even on top of the screws, uh, preventing from rusting, but it's, it's, it is what it is. I'm going to keep it that way. Now to put it on the vehicle. Driver. that's where it's going to be a little too bit more tricky here because I don't want to remove the bumper off the vehicle now what I'll need to do is insert the screw and slowly threading it now it might cause me issues here because of the shrink tube itself because now I need to try to thread it I think I have it now yeah I do Now, I'm going to try to do the other side. Now, they do give you two sizes of screws. On one side, I'll be able to use the long ones. On the other side, I won't because it gets to the physical winch shelf barrel. go the winch is attached 
I'm going to put the two other screws after in front. I'm not going to bore you with that. And now basically I'm going to tie my wire down here, tie wrapped it, and then run my wire down the middle of the vehicle and plugging this guy here. Excuse me. Then my, I'll have a working winch on the vehicle. Now, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell notification if you want to know, be notified next time I upload a video. And this is Project Cherokee brought to you by Great Hobbies.